you know it's that time of the year when you go into your store and start to see your bags of stuff in the middle of the aisles. It's Thanksgiving, Christmas, the holiday season, and we're going to go ahead and whip up some of our cornbread dressing. This cornbread dressing is so good, and we're going to use this America's Favorite cornbread right here. But I also have this honey cornbread, and I wanted to show you this because one of our recent um, viewers asked, why do we put sugar in the cornbread? But for our house, we do like to add a little bit more sugar because it's not enough sugar. I mean, it's not going to be overly sweet with the added sugar that we're going to add, but it does make a difference. Follow the directions on the box. Now, if you think about us adding some sugar to our cornbread or something, shoot, I remember... I couldn't even eat cornbread without some syrup. So imagine some cornbread coming out the oven with some butter and some syrup on top. Y'all know nothing about that. Go ahead and comment down below if y'all know about them days. I'm going to add a little bit of milk. And I'm just going to add a touch of sugar. You don't need a lot of sugar, just a little bit. A little bit go a long way. And it's not going to be overly sweet because I'm going to make some gravy to go on the side of this dressing at the end. The savory from the gravy is going to help balance out the little bit of sweet in the cornbread. Now, my family doesn't really like dressing. I like dressing, but they don't really like dressing. So, the only way I can really get them to eat it at Thanksgiving or the holiday time is this way. You know, this is their new favorite way to eat it. And the cornbread just adds that extra touch to it, you know, versus just getting the bag or the stove top that you put on the stove it's nothing to making a good dressing you just gotta make sure you have some good hearty broth and i got this broth i made some turkey wings so normally i'll take the broth from my turkey my whole turkey that i'll cook in the oven but i'm not doing that today if you haven't seen our turkey wing video it's our most popular video on our channel right now and go ahead and do it the same way i did on there and just take your broth off and sit it to the side and look how rich this broth is this is exactly what you want and we're gonna put that in our dressing and i'm not using chicken i've been making dressing for a while now I use turkey, and we're going to put this turkey in our dressing. If you want to use chicken, you can use chicken, but this is from our turkey wings that I just made. Now, if you don't want to use the box cornbread, you can make your own cornbread from scratch, or you can get one of these bags, and it still has the cornbread flavor. You can do it that way, too, but I don't want to buy the cornbread in the bag because it takes the fun away. You know, I want to have everybody be a part of making the Thanksgiving dinner. And, you know, we're going to take it back to the soul food movie where we have Big Mama House and everybody pitching in to make something. You know, you make the cornbread. You take them stems off them greens. You go ahead and peel them sweet potatoes. And, you know, we just worried about saving time. We're not really setting in stone the foundation for our kids to be able to cook for us in the future because I don't know about you guys, but I'm not trying to be in this kitchen forever cooking, you know? We gotta show our kids what to do for their families and for themselves when they get older, okay? Now, I gotta be honest, I don't really make cornbread from scratch, but that's something that, you know, I can learn how to do better, making more things from scratch. And I'm only making one box. I'm just showing you guys how to make this. You know, I don't want the family to get too tired of the dressing before the holidays even come around. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and cook this cornbread up. Now, if you can cook this a day or earlier in the day before you make your dressing, go ahead and do that. Because the longer the cornbread sit and dry out, the better it will be. Now, I already got my onion cut up right here. This is the stage where you're going to go ahead and add your celery, your onion, or if you have a bell pepper, we don't like celery in this house. That's why you guys never see us use it. But I normally do add a bell pepper, but today I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and cook this onion up. And you want to make sure it's nice and soft because nobody is going to want no crunchy onions up in their dressing. Our cornbread is out the oven. And do you guys see them crispy edges? Who also love a good corner piece? So go ahead and take a fork, crumble it up. But be careful, make sure you don't mess your pan up because this is aluminum, you know. We're just going to go ahead and cook our dressing right in the same pan. And just go ahead and chop it up until everything is broken down. It don't got to be completely fine. You can leave it a little chunky, you know. The liquid going to do its part, but you got to do your part too. Chopping it down a little bit. So now we're ready for our bag. Mm. 
who else just opens up the bag and gets that first whiff? You know, that's just the sign that fall is here, winter is coming. You got everything in this bag, some sage, some parsley, poultry seasoning. Everything you need to season your stuff in is right in this bag. Owl cake. I'm going to use half of this bag because this is a big bag. If I was doing a big pan of dressing, then I would use this whole bag. But I'm only doing half today. So that's enough. Now you gotta have your dressing essentials. Now I don't care what the bag say or what the bag got in it. I'm still just gonna add my little touch so I know how much is in there. And we gonna go in with some sage because you just cannot make dressing without some sage. Is a absolute must to have in your dressing. Like you might as well not even say you making dressing without the sage. And then we have some poultry seasoning. And just taste the cubes before you add any extra seasoning. If you don't feel like you need to add anything else, then don't add anything else. Make it your own. But I've been making this long enough so I know you know, what comes out good and how we like it. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit more parsley flakes. If you have the fresh parsley, you know, fresh is best, of course. You know, I would not steal your wrong. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions, our caramelized onions. I say normally, I would have a bell pepper. Sometimes you don't have to make it the same all the time. I do like it with the bell pepper, but today we're going to skip it. And then we have a can of this cream of chicken with herbs. It just makes sure that your dressing is nice and moist because who doesn't like a good moist dressing? Okay. That's the one thing worse than um, some unsweetened sweet potatoes is a dry dressing. We're not doing that, you guys. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our turkey. Now, if I made my full turkey, then I would use up the giblets and the turkey neck. I would add that in here too. Like I would, you know, put it in my gravy. But we just going to go with what we got today. And let's go ahead and give this a good old stir. I like to just stir this up before I add any liquid. You know, just to make sure everything gets nice and incorporated. And I don't need to add any salt because that cream of chicken is already seasoned and salted enough. Y'all already know them condensed cans of chicken is well seasoned. And if you don't know, you're going to find out when you use it today. When you make this recipe. Yeah, this is one of them holiday essentials. Right along with your sweet potatoes and your macaroni and cheese. And cranberry sauce. You know you gotta have that cranberry sauce right there next to this dressing to give it a little bit more moistness and flavor. You know the order. So that's mixed up good. I'm just gonna give my broth a good stir. You know, to mix everything around. It's still warm from them turkey wings. But you need a good hearty broth when making dressing. The best secret and advice, you know, when you making dressing, it's all about the bread, the stock, and your seasonings. So why skimp out and go and buy a can of stock when you can use your own from your own turkey? You see how rich this broth looks? You're not going to find this rich looking broth in your store. And just go ahead and coat the bread first. You can't really mess this up, you guys. But now the key is you don't want a dry dressing. But you don't want a soupy dressing either where it don't cook all the way through. So you need a right in between. And that's what people fall short at. It's not the bread. Because you can use the bread. You can use white bread. You can use cornbread. You know, I wouldn't use no wheat bread. But now that liquid that went through this bread already. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more. And you can just hear the creaminess in it when you stir it. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Because like I said, I don't want this to be too dry. But I don't want it to be too liquidy either. We're going to cook this in the oven for about 45 minutes to start out with. This pan is not that big. You know, you're really just trying to cook out all of that liquid out your pan. And just go ahead and spread it out so that way you can see what you're working with. Yes, yeah, cannot wait for this pan to come out and you got the crispy edges along the side. You know, let's just be real. Who doesn't like crispy edges on anything? Like, that's the best part of anything. A good brownie, a good cake, some dressing, some pancakes. You know, I'm all for the edge. So make sure you get them corners pushed up nice against the edge of this pan. 
Now, this is the leftover stock that I didn't use. I'm going to go ahead and just put this in the gravy that I'm about to make. And when we come back in 45 minutes, you guys going to see how this dressing is looking right out the oven. And I'm going to plate it up with some warm gravy on top. So don't go nowhere. We're not done yet. So we just took this cornbread dressing out the oven. We had it in the oven on 375 for about an hour. And then it came together really good. You see that crispy edge and there's no jiggly. And that's what you want to see when you shake your pan. It's not jiggling. It's settled in good. Look, we even had some time to make some gravy that we're going to go ahead and put on top of this dressing. Because I don't know about you guys. Can't have no dressing without this gravy. So just let your dressing sit for about five minutes just so it can come together out the oven. And we're going to go ahead and put it in our nice bowl. We're going to go right in with a corner piece. Oh yeah, it's nice and crunchy. This the crispy edge piece I'm talking about. That's the best part of the dressing. Look how that dressing came out. It looked nice and flavorful. You can see the turkey in it. Don't it look nice and scrumptious and delicious? So I don't know about you guys, but you know you got to put some of that gravy all on that dressing just like that. Ooh, look at that gravy right on top of that dressing, y'all. Don't that look good? And guess what? I put a spoon in there for you today so you can come through and take a bite. Yes, sir. How he liked the cornbread dressing. <laughs> all right you guys so if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel go ahead and subscribe to our channel and if you haven't had enough thanksgiving or holiday cooking yet large family style go ahead and check out the family holiday cooking playlist in the description box below and we'll see you guys for the next video see you guys later